Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about Marvel's newest series, Moon Knight. I'm going to start by giving my general thoughts on the first episode, and then I'm going to break down the episode with some spoilers. This episode was called The Goldfish Problem, and right off the bat we see that this is going to be a very different entry into the Marvel Universe, leaning a little bit into horror. It's not like super horror, if that makes any sense. There's a little bit of horror, but not a ton yet, but it's only episode one. It has some Night at the Museum vibes, mostly just because the main character works at a museum. And overall, there are just a lot more darker elements than we typically get from Marvel, and a little bit spooky things too some spooky creatures and such, and interestingly enough, it's a lot of times, at least it appears to be, filmed on location in actual cities or at like a hill. We see an actual hill, I think so, but who knows, maybe they built a hill in a studio because it did look a little green screen in the background, but I don't know, I think it was filmed on location for a few parts. And this show is so far surprisingly funny, like you wouldn't really expect there to be this dark show combined with humor, but there is. I wouldn't by any means consider this to be a comedy, but there is plenty of humor in there. And I've seen Oscar Isaac in a few things, but I've never been like, amazed with any of his characters. I just don't think his characters have been all that interesting, and at least the things I've seen, but I'm already really liking his character, and I think he does a great job at playing it. Already a very likable Steven, which is a character's name we already have in other Marvel things, but another Steven is always welcome. And one thing I will just say to critique is that the music I felt like was a little bit on the weaker side. If you look at a show like Loki, which was not my favorite of the Marvel shows or movies, but I think the music in that show was quite excellent. And I feel like Hawkeye was pretty good, and some of the others were just so long ago I can't really remember, but... This show kind of, it feels like the music has a similar vibe to other Marvel productions when I don't think it should. I do feel like the music should be a little bit more mysterious and leaning into horror as opposed to more like action, dramatic action, but that's my comment on that. And another thing we see is that this is not really a family-friendly show. It's interesting because we do have these other Netflix Marvel shows that are now on Disney Plus, so I do wonder why this show isn't just rated MA because it does get kind of close, but I do kind of like that in between TV 14 and MA. It's not like violent every second, but there are some pretty violent moments in the show. So I will now be moving on to some spoilers, so if you haven't seen the episode yet, there is your warning. So as I mentioned before, Stephen, Oscar Isaac's character, has a job at a London museum, and we see that at night he ties himself up because he, I'm assuming he doesn't want his other identity to get out, and I don't know if he really knows what his other self is capable of or what his other self does or not, that's kind of unclear, but he clearly is a little bit concerned about what his other self might do. So in this episode we see that he just kind of wants to have this normal life, a very kind of almost common thing for superheroes, but he's dealing with a little bit of some different issues, and I know a lot of people have been comparing this to Venom, just I think the storyline in some ways is similar and the sort of talking voice he hears and the almost multiple identities a little different than Venom but there's definitely some similar vibes but we have this character who is trying to you know it seems like maybe his other identity asked this woman out and then it, it just gets kind of complicated because then he ends up sleeping for two days and missing their date even though he thinks he's on the right day. But it's very unfortunate 
maybe it'll work out, maybe it won't, I don't really know. But <laughs> I think we'll find out eventually. So I'm not really clear how the dissociation works, which is fine. I mean, it's only episode one and I do love a good mystery, but so far I'm just a little bit confused, which again, that's, I think that's the point. Um, cause we have like, it seems like his switching of identities happens when he falls asleep, I think, but then there's moments where it happens during the day, but then later in the episode he wakes up, which, so it was just a little confusing, but then he sees Ethan Hawke's character again, and Ethan Hawke's character I believe is real, unless that's also a dream. So it is a little bit unclear, but what we do see is that when he switches identities, he like ends up killing a bunch of people violently, but it doesn't show that, which was kind of fine by me, but it was very, it's just, it is a really interesting premise how it all works. And I'm, I, I don't know if I would say this is the best Marvel premiere episode of a Marvel series, but it definitely is up there. I think the uniqueness of it really helps. And then just, you know, just being different from all other Marvel things and leaning a little bit into, I guess, mature content is just different than what we've seen from Marvel before. So we have Ethan Hawke's character who were introduced right in the beginning of someone who likes to put glass in his shoes. <laughs> so there's that, we know he's already insane. And then he's kind of got this sort of cult that he has and these tattoos that do things that I was just, that was a lot to take in. But he tries to do the little magic on Oscar Isaac's character, Steven, but it doesn't seem to work. And there's that. For some reason, yeah, it was just a little weird how it was like he was in the dream, but then he was also in reality. So obviously, part of that dream that Steven had was not a dream. So I am interested to see what all this means because Steven has this thing, I forget what it's called, but he has it and Ethan Hawke's character wants it. <laughs> so there is the storyline. I don't wanna quite call Ethan Hawke's character a villain yet because I just feel like that's too easy, I think. He, you know, he is the antagonist of the show so far, but I don't know if I want to call him a villain yet because I feel like maybe we don't know the whole story. We don't really know anything about Moon Knight, the superhero or villain, and we don't really know anything about Mark. So honestly, Mark could be a villain to Steven. It's almost like I do think Mark could be his own villain, if that makes any sense. So by the end of the episode, he's being chased by this creature. That's when it, it gets into a little bit of some spooky horror elements in the elevator. That was probably the scariest, I guess, scene of the episode. But then at the museum, it almost does kind of have Night at the Museum vibes. You know, I think there was like a T-Rex chase, a little bit of Jurassic Park, maybe some Stranger Things, A Quiet Place. Definitely had vibes of that in there, but he's running around away from this creature. It's kind of I, scary might not be the word, but it was very suspenseful. And then ultimately he goes in the bathroom where there's mirrors. I love the mirror images in this show. And Steven is talking to his other identity, Mark, which very bizarre and science fiction-y, but it's okay, we'll allow it. Anyways, he's talking to Mark and Mark's just like, just let me take over and ultimately he allows it and he transforms into Moon Knight, I'm guessing. I don't quite know what Moon Knight's abilities are or what, but I'm sure we're gonna get to find out. Like I mentioned before, the series has a very interesting and different vibe and a very good first episode overall, I think. And I think this is definitely a start to a lot more horror things in Marvel. I think WandaVision just kind of hinted at some horror 
to come. It was just a little bit of horror vibes in that show. And then we do know that Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is also supposed to have some horror elements and this show definitely does as well but anyways i would love to know your thoughts on this episode of moon knight and what you think is going to happen next and you are welcome to check out my other reviews if you want you can like subscribe comment and share if you want but whatever you want to do it's up to you thank you everyone so much for watching and god bless